Hey everyone, my name is Colton Chapman and I'm a classical and electric guitarist composer and music educator based in New York City. That was a quick demo using the Total Distortion Worship pedal, which is a collaboration between Simon of Cult Effects and Daniel from Lee Clarm Audio. Now there are a few videos already out there that demo this pedal, but for this one, I wanted to showcase one of the suggested uses that Simon himself gives. As you can see, we have three different gain staging suggestions, but let's ignore the first two and focus on the boost overdrive section. Your amp's distortion channel is lacking tightness and aggression, the TDW will transform it into a raging beast. Simply dial the gain knob back to a lower setting, cut the low end, and crank the high mid faders. Alright, now that we've chosen how we're going to use this pedal, I'm going to demonstrate how I dialed in this guitar tone, and later in the video, I'll give a valuable tip on what I believe to be the best way to set yourself up for success when dialing any guitar tone. But first, let's check out one of the three suggested applications for the TDW pedal. Alright, so there's a few things we want to go over before I dial in this tone. First, I suggest that you pick an amp sim that you're familiar with. I'm going to be using the 5150 lead channel that comes with the Quad Cortex. And then for picking an impulse response, you want to find one that best fits the vision of the tone that you're after. So if you want something more brutal death metal like Suffocation Defeated Sanity, then you're going to want to look for one that doesn't have very many mids, if any at all. And if you want something more black metal, then you're going to want to look for an IR that doesn't have very much bass information and is more mid and treble and presence uh, heavy, right? So since I'm going to be using the TDW pedal as an extra layer of distortion with the 5150, I'm going to go for an impulse response that's more flat and balanced sounding. All right. Um, after choosing the IR, you'll see me dial in the tone stack. Then we'll add the pedal into the chain, and you'll hear me dial that in in context with the mix. All right. So let's do this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so one of the cool things that I found about this pedal when using it was when you turn down the low, the low mid, and then your amp gain, it actually gets nastier. <laughs> Um, because at a certain point, your amp gain distortion will take over, and if you just turn this up, it'll, it's like you're feeding more level into it, essentially. Whereas if you turn down your amp gain, then you'll start to hear more characteristics of this pedal take over. So I think that's really, really cool. And you can actually you know, do a nice blend with it, too, which is what I ended up doing for the, this track. So I would definitely recommend this for quad tracking, for your filthy tone. To have it's if you just want something with a little bit more spice instead of just reaching for an HM2 all the time. Um, and you know, I would love to do something again with this, but like a seven string and or another seven string, but just lower tunings. Like this was B standard, but something like like G standard. Because I think it'd be really cool for something in the realm of like Vermin Womb or Impetuous Ritual where you know you're not really hearing note definition, so to speak, but just the tonal inflections when you move around. Uh, the neck of the guitar from riff to riff so that would be really really sick use for it as well so a lot of cool a lot of great uses for it and everything um now the tip that i wanted to give earlier was that i think that you should have fresh strings on your guitar intonated and play a riff that you can play well with conviction record it and then start to dial in things because that's going to allow you, like it, it, it's all fine to sit there and chug and whatnot and then dial and chug, play, whatever. But it's better to, to actually record the riff with your instrument set up so that way you can spend more time actually focusing on dialing in what you're envisioning in your head and then retrack, you know, with your committed tone if you want. So that's how I've been doing everything when I dial in guitar tones and now I've, I've had a lot of good luck with it and great experiences. So can't recommend it enough. I um, hope it helps. And the price point on this thing is like 300 bucks, something like that. And I looked online, apparently like all distortion pedals now are like two or $300. So that's just the times we're living in. Um, it is quite a bit of money to make a guitar sound like shit. <laughs> but I love it. You know, uh, obviously I bought it. I wrote this track, made this video. So I would recommend it if you're able to afford it. Um, yeah, so um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Share it though, that's what's really gonna help. And let me know if you wanna see me do other cool stuff and um, what it might be. Cause I, I wanna make this a little channel a little bit more valuable to our esoteric community. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you later.